Welcome to the Lipman Education Coding Clinic Commentary Update for ICD-10 CM and PCS, first quarter 2025. My name is Faye and I will be hosting this session of our update. This is a 59-year-old patient with a history of aortic valve stenosis and a past bioprosthetic aortic valve replacement who is admitted due to fatigue, chills, night sweats, and abnormal lab results. Cardiac workup revealed bioprosthetic valve endocarditis, moderate stenosis of the bioprosthetic aortic valve, and moderate mitral regurgitation. How is this diagnosis correctly reported in ICD-10-CM? We have a ICD-10-CM guideline from Section 2, Selection of Principal Diagnosis, G, Complications of Surgery, and Other Medical Care provide guidance on the principal diagnosis. This guideline tells us that when the admission is for treatment of a complication resulting from surgery or other medical care, the complication code is sequenced as the principal diagnosis. If the complication is classified to the T80 through T88 series and the code lacks the necessary specificity in describing the complication, then assign an additional code for the specific complication. Coding Clinic advises us to report the following codes. T82.6XXA, infection and inflammatory reaction due to cardiac valve prosthesis, initial encounter, as our principal diagnosis. I33.0 acute and subacute infective endocarditis, T82.857A stenosis of other cardiac prosthetic devices, implants and grafts, initial encounter for the bioprosthetic aortic valve stenosis, and I34.0 non rheumatic mitral valve insufficiency for the mitral valve regurgitation. Coding Clinic explains that stenosis of a prosthetic aortic valve is classified as a device complication, not a valve disorder. So therefore using code I08.0, rheumatic disorders of both mitral and aortic valves for multiple valve disorders would not be correct. Thank you for joining us for this presentation. Happy coding!